How's it going, Apex community? Welcome in to this week's solo trials video. I'm Pfizer FPV, and um, we're about to probably not do very well at this track. <laughs> Oil Bando Tumblr. I'm not the best at this track by any means. So, um, before we get started, I hope you like the new surroundings. I'm trying something different. Hopefully, we're going to be Twitch streaming very soon if we can get it up and running. My PC is not being very happy with me at the moment, but we'll give it a go. This is the fifth time I've tried to record this. Hoping to God that the frames hold, um, and I'm not looking at just a static mess of pictures on my screen. Before we do anything else, though, um, shout outs to um, to Matt Physics Quad Killer on uh, DC Other Game, dude. Your times are getting so good now. Um, like <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch my back. Like it's it's good to have you on, boys. Good to see you. Uh, good to see you getting fast and enjoying the game. Um, Jimmy the Pyro as well, Alpha Prop represent uh, again. Good to have you subbed. Um, nice to see you in uh, in the community chat on on Facebook and, and and all that kind of stuff. So great to have you. And Pressure FPV, dude. Seriously, last week uh, really enjoyed the really enjoyed the track. It was an awesome track. Uh, it was good fun trading times back and forth with you, dude. Your your last time was just that was too much, man. I I couldn't. I was like, nah, -uh. I haven't got another hour of grinding in me. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's kick on with this. Um, Matter physics. I did say to you that I would um, go over some things about pids and rates. So let's do that quick while we can. Um, get rid of that. Head on over here. Pids and rates. So there you go. I'm not precious about pids and rates at all. I don't really care. If you want them, you take them. Um, if I can help some some folks kind of find a nice groove in the game, then go ahead. Pids, I never really changed these in real life. Unfortunately, I don't get a chance to actually race quads for a, uh, for a living, for a hobby. Um, I can sort of go and fly them around and stuff here and there, but really, I've, I haven't got time to fly to the UK every weekend just to go and race race quads. I don't have enough money, so, <laughs> so that's the thing. Um, Pids, I usually keep beta flight stock, so I'm pretty sure I haven't tweaked these too much. I, I may have done. I don't know. I honestly can't remember. Feed forward, I know I up that uh, at the recommendation of a friend, and that seems to help, I think, maybe. Um, I don't know, it might just be a placebo. Uh, again, not too, actually not too sure what it does. <laughs> uh, feed forward and transition, I, th I think that is the same. I don't think I've changed that. Maybe a little, who knows. The main thing for me is rates. Um, if my rates are good, then that's that makes me happy. So um, you see roll is kind of a little higher than everything else um obviously not as high as like what i'd run for maybe three stars about 900 but you know 400 is kind of nice uh, it's snappy enough that i can get good maneuverability the pitch is a little lower obviously to keep the the nose in check um i know a lot of people tend to go really low for for things like for, for pitch in particular when you're racing just to keep that nose um where you want it uh, and you'll see on this track in particular there's some sections where you really want to keep that nose in check so um yeah your 250 uh probably the, you know it's the lowest of the lot mainly because i i, I prefer to kind of feed my yaw in gently um and again you'll see from the the graph on the right hand side there quite linear curves for roll and pitch um, and a much flatter one for for the yaw it really it's just so that i can it, it feels nicer to kind of feed it in that way so yeah there you go um that's that so <laughs> Let's give this a go. So, Oil Bando Tumblr, I, I think it's called Tumblr mainly because of this bit, because you seem to do an awful lot of tumbling. There's also um, some significant tumbling gets done later in the track. This particular bit, I would always recommend um, probably going for a bit of a practice on this bit. Just kind of drill yourself. Um, I've not flown this since yesterday, so uh, I could do with a bit of practice, <laughs> clearly. Um, I tend to aim for the top left of that first one. And then same thing with the next the next one. Um, keep it low and tight. And also, as you're drilling, try and come from further back than the... Um, oh, wow. Okay, that was pretty poor. Try and come from further back than just the, um, the start blocks. Come from right back over here because you'll see this is a two-lap course. And the second lap take... You know, the, the entry to the lap takes you around here and over the top. You're carrying an awful lot more speed at that point, um, so you kind of want to make sure that you're used to um, entering this first gap with a lot of speed so that you can sort of spot where you want to be um, coming out of it. 
you know where you you get a, a feel for where you want to be pre-turning um, and you know just keep it as low as you can um, that will just come with time you know I mean when I first started I was kind of up here and kind of all over the place or um, some, I think even when I first started I think I might have actually just kind of properly tried to roll them um, really what you want to do is keep it flat um, and spot your spot your next sections so you can see that's kind of relatively flat but I've constantly got the rest of the track or the rest of that obstacle in my vision so that I can spot where I want to be and make any little adjustments just to kind of bring it back on course um, as you're coming out of this last one you can go left or right and um, obviously if you're rolling you're pretty much rolling to the left anyway so it's a continuation of that move over the top and then a quick sneak back to the right to go through here um, I find that a little bit too fast for me. I, my eyes can't really keep up because I'm old. <laughs> so as I come through, um, it's a, a little thing that I learned the first time around is that people were going right out of here, which gives you a little more time to line up the uh, the tunnel, <laughs> which apparently I can't really maneuver very well in. Um, so yeah, you've got a bit more time to kind of line up that tunnel. Um, where am I going? So as you're coming over these, you kind of come out of here to the right and you can spot it a lot easier and it just gives you that chance to kind of level things out. Um, this tunnel is difficult, there is no doubt about it. It's probably one of the more difficult parts of the, the level of the map. First bit's relatively easy, just keep to the left because it's sort of, it squeezes you in the middle there um, where these two, um, two kind of big oil pressure tanker thingies are. Um, there's a bit of a squeeze. If you're on the sort of more left hand side of this, um, you've got to worry less about hitting the one on the right there. Coming through here, make sure you get enough altitude um, is the only thing I can really say. I forever am coming too low and then you've got to pull up at the last minute. So aim really for these white sections, especially the second one here on the left. If you're in between the top and the bottom of these, these white sections as you come around and you can cut it pretty close, then you are in the perfect position to start tackling this next obstacle which is one big left hand turn all the way through to here. It's a single move. Really what you want to try and be doing is if you're going to moderate anything, moderate the throttle. Um, try and try not to kind of like go straight turn, go straight turn, go straight turn, because that's that it works and it's a good way to kind of it's a good way to get used to flying around this obstacle. But you want to kind of try and keep the sticks at least keep your keep your roll to the left the whole time um, even if you're kind of moderating it and wiggling it a little bit um, you want to be really trying to go around there I mean ideally full throttle the whole way um, but if you can't manage that then you know by all means I mean I'm, I'm I can't <laughs> but uh, pump the throttle um, same around here and again that will get you used to just flying with more throttle and, and just smoother generally, I think. Um, a lot of people, I know, I don't know if you watched our, our interview with Glenn Bales, he was talking about um, micro corrections and kind of, you know, kind of that jerky sort of movement as you're coming around where you're kind of forever hunting. Um, if you can smooth things out and just have a really flowy, smooth, fun time with it, then um, that's really where you're gonna find a lot of time. Anyway. So, yeah, I mean, drill yourself on that by all means. It's it's a good spot for drills, that's for sure. Up, down, over the top, round and round. Um, it's good fun. Uh, and it feels nice. It feels good to nail that. This bit, don't come too high, because if you come over it too high, you'll miss the next... You know, you're going to miss the entrance to the next tunnel. Come over it as low as you can, uh, and then just throw it in. That's really all I can suggest for that. Um, I know some people do kind of try and sneak out of this to the side, to the left through here and out the side. I don't think it's really worth it on this particular bit, um, this particular section, mainly because it's not very long. Uh, and also opening up the turn to this next bit isn't really all, all that important. Um, I don't think you gain quite as much on this particular tunnel, shortcutting that as you do on the next one, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, so you come out of here, you're pre-turning it to a point um, not too much because you don't have to exactly go backwards you, you know you're not going back on yourself through this through this obstacle um, and cut this close again another another one of those obstacles where it's it's good fun to just 
drill around it, you know, use this as a, a space to kind of practice getting close to these things and really cutting them fine. And it's okay to crash. We know it's okay to crash. It's frustrating, but it's okay. Um, again, cutting that one pretty close coming through here. This is the big shortcut of the track. You miss out all of that tunnel bit. You can go up and down to your heart's content. Um, and then as you come through this second set of pipes, so you've got pipes number one, set of pipes number two, cactus number one, just before cactus number two, swing your way around uh, and back out. And this is a section where it is worth taking the shortcut because this is a long tunnel um, and there's a lot that can go wrong in there. It's all, you know, girders top and bottom, which are awful. <laughs> when you're flying at speed, because if you clip one, that's it. It's absolutely game over. Um, I mean, it, it can be done by all means, but it, there's a lot to it. And it's very stressful. <laughs> and also coming out of it the other side, that, that right hand turn is just very, very sharp. Um, if you can make it smooth to come up over here and float around to the left and the right, then, you know, so much better. Again, keep it flat. And there's the section I was talking about where we get a little bit more speed. Obviously, I'm not going full throttle this time. But, um, yeah, I mean, that should hopefully give you an idea of, like, how I tackle this track. I mean, as I've said before, I am by no means the uh, the fastest person flying this track. Uh, I think my time's, like, 121, and I think the record at the moment is a, a 110. So, you know, I'm considerably off the pace this time. <laughs> What's new there? Oh, well, we don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it's it's a good track for grinding this one because there's so much to it. Um, there's a lot of different maneuvers that you kind of you can really pick up some great habits if you're if you're spending the time on this track. So there you go. That was a <laughs> ten minutes twenty. That's going to take some beating, right? I'm going to let you guys watch the replay because I don't think I have it in me to. Uh... <laughs> to go with a, a full-on, let's have a look, here you go, I don't have it in me to go in with, go in with a full-on lap here, so you go, we switch back, sticking to the left, going through here, getting just enough altitude, we kind of muck that up a little bit, one single turn, as best we can, modulating the throttle, carry it on, stay low over here, dip the nose down a little there, you can see very stressful coming through there. Keep that tight and close. We were probably a little bit far over there. Through the shortcut. Count the cactuses as is. One. Second one. In before it. Over the top we go. Keep it level. Coming around now for that faster attempt at this one. Probably going to be a little higher. Yeah. Every time. But the quad is flat. And I think that's one of the best ways to attack that. Is keeping your quad flat so you can spot your exits and spot your next gates. Sped around here that time. Oh, it was definitely on the roll stick there rather than on the throttle. Again, nose down, pushing it through here. Much better that time. Still a little wide off there. Missed the train just about. There's a little hunt. We saw it. The little, little jink move there as we uh, tried to get our line back. Yeah, that's what a 1 minute 21 looks like. Probably not the uh, the absolute best, but um, hey, it is what it is. There you go, that was that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, as ever, um, do leave your comments down below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, etc, etc. All the usual YouTube nonsense. Appreciate the involvement with you guys on, on the community, on, on Instagram and everything. Obviously, I'm Pfizer FPV, you know. If you want to drop into my DMs and kind of... Uh, solicit me for think no that's a lie if you want to if you want to drop in if you want to drop me a dm by all means do um my dms are always open for you guys so yeah i guess that's it um as per usual don't forget apexdroneracing.com for all of your merchandising needs um facebook apex community and uh yeah i guess that's that's it for the the team uh, solo trials this week look out for the team trials that'll be dropping soon hopefully if my computer has recorded this in any sort of decent quality um, yeah, and I suppose that's one thing left to say, and that's um, fly safe, fly fast, fly apex. And I will catch you guys in the next one.